This is badass, guys. Let's go. Yeah. That's badass. Love it. Sean Sweeney, 29th place, guys. And literally got time capped on the ski, 500 meter ski, I believe. Finished the ski, finished the sandbag. He might be getting cut, so he said, screw it, I'm gonna finish this. Tons of people gathering around, cheering him on. That's badass, I'd love to see that. And I personally love to see that, hey, I'm gonna finish this no matter what, so that's badass. A lot of people are like, oh, just save your energy for the next event. Finished it, super sick. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that little squat session. Today is gonna be more of a recap day rather than a lifting day. I have plenty of those lifting videos, so go check those out if you haven't, if you're new to the channel. Going straight into it, guys. Day two recap, event number five. We saw some rope climbs, we saw a ski, and we saw a sandbag carry, more specifically a Husafeld stone. We have a ton of Icelandic people who compete from Iceland, and this is, I guess, like a stone that they do for like the strongman event. So it was kind of an odd object type workout. We saw a ton of athletes having no trouble with it and we saw some athletes just not able to grip it whatsoever based off of the ski and the rope climbs just getting blown up so that was a really fun event to watch it also just showed the crossfit community again just gathering around athlete jason hopper who was actually struggling on that really bad i think he just blew up on the rope climbs and then just couldn't even pick up the bag by the end could barely make it made it across the finish line stumbling so nonetheless he got it done some athletes didn't make it sean sweeney unfortunately was on the last ski uh got time capped still finished the ski still finished the stone everyone just gathered around him to finish off it was really cool to see that on the women's side we did have some exciting exciting heats sam briggs three helga daughter freaking crushing it coming down to the line racing stumbling over their block that's the type of crossfit competitions and events that we like to see the ones that come down to the wire those crazy finishes what it's all about honestly it was a great great day yesterday even the day before awesome day we see Danielle Brandon still competing, still being tested for COVID, and still being isolated. She absolutely crushed that event. She came in uh, with a stylish stumbling finish. Danny Spiegel, on the other hand, had to withdraw from the competition as she rolled her ankle. We saw her stumbling around. We knew something was up. She had to withdraw from the competition shortly after event six. As of event six, we got word that Sean Sweeney had to withdraw from the competition due to medical conditions. Don't know if it was COVID or not. Moving on to event six and seven was the clean ladders. Not only that, but they had to run 200 meters. So it was do one clean, run 200 meters, come back. The first one, which was event six, was basically a lighter set. It was like a sprint event. People were sprinting through it. Event seven on the other hand was way heavier it was a completely different workout because you had to pace yourself on the run the heavy cleans spiked your heart rate i had my money on a few people i'll tell you guys in a moment tia claire and christy Aramo raced to the finish i love seeing christy Aramo. she's just a beast she's tiny but mighty crushing it as always another veteran she has an awesome youtube channel go check it out but basically event six had no room for mistakes guys it was fast it was quick if you missed any lifts you were done you were gonna get placed back like two or three spots event seven on the other hand was a completely different workout super heavy cleans i think the barbell started at 305 maybe even heavier but basically heavy barbell run was a lot slower than the first one 
Colton Mertens, a shorter, smaller athlete, making the barbells look super easy. It was awesome. I was rooting for him the entire time. Unfortunately, I think he placed 30th at the end of the day and got cut. He finished second overall under Zach Watts. Jeff Adler had an awesome time as well. Absolutely crushed it. Made the barbells look super light. And then Guy, Guy Maheros, keep an eye on this kid, man. I knew he was gonna do good in this event. This was right up his wheelhouse. He can run, he won one of the running events, and then he could, he can lift heavy and with really, really good form. He absolutely dominated the time, sprinted on the run, didn't take his time whatsoever, crushed every single barbell, took the heat, took the whole roll, just win. Um, yeah, man, Mendarios ended up taking second in the heat, beat Fikowski for first place awesome awesome event and super super exciting to watch event eight handstand walk course nothing crazy about that just literally walk handstand walk there and back it was a handstand walk over parallel it was a crazy event but event nine we saw 21 59 echo bike and snatches that one put a lot of athletes in the dirt super fun to watch as well moving on to day three day three was super exciting super super eventful guys we had three events total event one was a 30 toes to bar one and a half mile run, 30 toes to bar, one half mile run, 30 toes to bar. That one was, that one was crazy. That one was definitely an endurance event. People would just jammed through the toast bar. It was crazy fast in under a minute. I remember seeing the clock start and like at 40 seconds, people were already on the run. Crazy. Event 11, 11 minute AMRAP, pegboard, dumbbell, overhead squat, and weighted double unders. Again, the double unders were weighted a lot of people kept getting tripped up on them due to grips and stuff we saw a lot of just fatal mistakes a lot of no reps on pegboards etc that was also a fun event to watch event number 12 the max snatch the max snatch was probably one of the most entertaining things to watch again Gima arrows absolutely destroyed it so on the women's side we had a bunch of just fails disappointments one being Amanda Barnhart she got out at like 180 185 she should not have been she knew that she shouldn't have been went over to the tie break the tie break was I think three snatches at like 145 for time and then blah 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 she did that touch and go she knew she shouldn't have been there super just upsetting to watch because that would have been super fun to watch her and Tia go at it at the top spot Brooke Wells failed I think 180 185 actually got really hurt she started crying she started flipping out I was kind of disappointed in the staff because she was asking for help and no one went and helped her it was the scary scary lift not gonna lie it was hard to watch Annie Thor started her hitting 200 super surprised it must have been a PR or something because she the look on her face was priceless and it was freaking awesome. Then moving on to the guy side, Royce Dunn crushing it, Saxon Panchik crushing it, both Panchik brothers crushing it, Vellner crushing it, Fakowski absolutely crushing it, but where we saw just flawless textbook, crispy, wet form was Guy. Guy Malheros absolutely destroying this event. Every snatch looked like it got easier, easier, lighter, smoother, you name it he was super confident every rep looked the exact same no matter the weight i absolutely freaking just love watching this kid i love the form I, there's nothing better to me than just crispy good form and he had it absolutely crushed it and not only that he crushed these events well i know for sure the max snatch event he crushed it in reeboks so he's getting paid from reebok he's gonna get at least 10 to 15 thousand just for wearing and finishing and winning in the shoes so absolutely freaking awesome event Darius came down to him as well he failed i think right before that i think he got maybe third but he absolutely impressed me he hit a pr it just looked really good and confident as well shout out to that kid he's currently in first that's gonna go ahead and wrap up day three guys last day today i'll keep you guys informed hit that like button hit that subscribe button guys i'll catch you guys for the final day let's go